Dude, you're doing so well. <laughs> now I have to redo that all over again. What's up, everybody? We are back with another video. Yeah, so today we're gonna be showing like our fall essentials. You can call us like a fall favorites video. All right, and let's do it. All right, so first off, let's start with the sweaters. Right here, I have this Gildan zip-up hoodie that I got on Amazon for fifteen dollars. Really cheap quality, but um, it's super versatile, and I just like the color. It's like a cardinal red. It's not really bright and vibrant, so it's really subtle. Kind of matches that fall vibe. I like the zipper detailing on this. It's got that YKK zipper, but uh, it's kind of resembling that uh, Riri zipper detailing, so I really like that. And what I like about Zip Up is that it's super versatile. You can wear it layered, or you can wear it just with a t-shirt under it. Either way, it looks really nice on it. And um, like I said, for $15, you can't go wrong with something like this. And uh, I guarantee you guys that uh, if you guys caught this sweater, it's not gonna upset you. But if you want to spend a little bit more money, you can get out the Supreme sweater. And it's just like a zip up hoodie. You know, Aaron also has one too. It's the, it's the um, undercover, the undercover collab, I think. And so, yeah, obviously you're gonna pay, you know, like at least a hundred dollars, right? Yeah. yeah. But, you know, as some pipe pieces, you know, it doesn't really, they, like, you know. The resale value is still there. Yeah, and the quality, you know, it doesn't lack quality. Like, yeah. I'm pretty sure Aaron can vouch for me that this is like super thick. It's just thick, yeah, for sure, with two C. Yeah. And like, what I like about it is that it's super subtle. It's not really loud, like your basic box logos or anything like that. It's like, like from afar, it looks like a black zip up hoodie, but yeah. it's got like the great quality, the detailing, and most of all, like, it's got the branding on there. It's really subtle. So uh, let's move on. We're gonna keep going on with the sweaters right here. I have this crew neck. Uh, this is probably like the only crew neck I own. I've been wearing this a lot. Shout out to Enrico. He got this for me for my birthday. Yeah. And um, this is from Bronze 56K. It's a skate brand. Um, and what I like about this is the color of it is really subtle. It's not your basic olive green or it's more like a pine green. It's really dark. Looks real vintage. Yeah, exactly. Looks and I really vintage. like the, yeah. the font on this. The bronze and then the little, I guess the bear on that kind of resembles um, like Winnie, Winnie the, the Pooh. Pooh. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So you know, you wear this and throw it with some like vintage jeans, and you kind of have that nice look. You can also dress it up and wear some um, some nice trousers with it. Trying to trying to give it the flair. So you can. This is really versatile. You can layer with it, wear it alone, and yeah. Yep. And then obviously, you know, if you don't have a zip up, the pullover is the way to go. And honestly, like a pullover. Could also go either two ways you know you could spend a lot of money you could you know go cheap on it this however is the uniqlo hoodie so it's kind of in that mid-range yeah uniqlo has got good quality too yeah like you know like this is really light but it's also it'll keep you warm like you know like the material is really breathable but it also helps for layering all right so now we're going to move on to the outerwear and rico's got a couple to show off so let's let's see what you got so lately you know i've been trying to get into like you know that farsi jacket look Oh, but you know the, clean. but you know like, it's expensive. Like you know, like the wool ones, you know, definitely cost at least sixty bucks. Yeah, and you know this is just a a satin jacket from Urban Outfitters. This is actually on sale for thirty bucks, and um, yeah, you know it kind of gives you like that, almost like the Saint Laurent teddy jacket. Look. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, like teddy jacket. But it's more kind of toned down. You know the stripes are on the collars, and, you know on the sleeves and stuff, and you know like honestly like it's it's also lined. This is also lined, so like. If you want, you can just wear this alone with like a long sleeve, or you can wear this like a, a hoodie under. Yeah. It's this leather biker jacket. This is full leather, but obviously you don't want to get like a fully thick like yeah. lambskin one. That's, for, that's more for winter. Yeah. <laughs> you sweating. That's more for like winter, so, you know, uh, for leather jackets, you know, on like honestly, like I would just try it on in person because you never know how a small could fit from another brand to another one. Yeah. And you know, I think the the way how you know you could accessorize it and the character it gives yeah, you. Yeah, I like the pins you got. Yeah, the there. pins. Yeah. Yeah, and also I just want to say like for leather jackets, you can definitely give it more of a punk rock look, or you can just make it a preppy look. Either way, it looks really nice, and it's really versatile, especially during the fall winter look. Like you can kind of layer with it, or just wear yeah. it alone, like a t-shirt under it. It's so, a statement piece of its own. Definitely, yeah. definitely. So the pants. I uh, right now I have this um, vintage Levi's that I copped on Depop. For like 15 bucks really cheap and then i just kind of distressed the hem a little bit on the bottom right here kind of made it uh cropped and then make made the, the frayed hems on the bottom to kind of give it more detailing i wanted something that was a little bit mid wash not super light wash i have a pair of those already so this is something i've been wearing a lot i've been wearing this a lot with 
vans and also um, some boots. And yeah, what do you have? All right, so first off, I have a pair of Dickies. And you know, this is a great alternative to Aaron's Levi's because I know vintage Levi's, you know, depending on what it is, they can run, you know, they can run <laughs> up like expensive. an expensive price. But these are actually just, you know, the skinny straight Dickies. And um, I actually cropped them and also frayed them as well. So they have like that same type of like distressed look. Yeah. And honestly, you can't go wrong with black pants in any season. I feel like you need like a solid pair of black solid. pants. Yep. And speaking of black pants, I have a pair of these uh, Zara trousers right here. Got these on Grail a while back, a uh, pretty good price. But what I like about them is it's like a pinstripe, but you don't really see the stripe from afar. Up close, it's kind of like a gray stripe, so it's like subtle. And what I like about them is that it's like pretty thick, so it'll definitely keep you warm during the winter and during the fall when it's chilly outside. And uh, yeah. And for my last pair of pants, I have these Zara Ripney pants. And honestly, like, the stress is it's here to stay. It's, it's, I don't know, man. As soon as we can, <laughs> I don't know. And then lastly for the pants, I have these, uh, what is it, herring? Herring bone, herring bone trousers. Thrifted these a while back in uh, SoCal. And um, I kind of, I got them cropped and a little bit tapered. So they still have a baggy look to it because originally these were flared out. Kind of like those 80s, uh, like kind of like bottoms. disco, bell, yeah. yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. But um, yeah, so I don't know what size these are. They don't have a tag on them, but uh, I'm guessing they're like a 32. So they fit kind of baggy on me. All right, so let's get started on the sneakers. So these right here, these vans, you think they're just normal red, but these are actually the chili pepper ones in the, in, from the vault line. And so, you know, it's more minimalistic. You know, the fox is a bit higher. There's no stripe and you know, there's like a back tab. And this is not like a white, just like a marshmallow. Like marshmallow off-white, off -white, yeah. yeah, I like that. I like how the sole is a little thicker too. Yeah, I can tell. yeah, yeah, because it has more cushioning. Yeah, yeah, it looks really nice. This is definitely not your basic red bands, and the red, like I said before, kind of looks like the cardinal red from the sweater at first. Yeah. So like, it's not too vibrant, you know. So this is definitely kind of like that yeah. fall vibe. And then for the next pair, I mean, I caught like a plethora of pairs, but I only shown off two. Is the checkered? I mean, honestly, like checkered just goes to anything. And you know, this is not the normal one as well. This is also the vault, as you see. You know, stripe, higher uh, boxing a bit. You know, it's more off-white, you know? Mm -hmm. And you know, like honestly, like, I feel like for fall, for shoes, you wanna go for deeper tones. Definitely, and you've been wearing these a lot. Like, you can yeah. wear this with anything too, so. Like, you know, you wear these, you know, just put, they put them on, leave the house, you know, go to class. <laughs> and I feel like for those, you can wear it with skinny jeans. Dickies, trousers, anything, any any type of fit, it'll look really good. Yeah, it'll know? just give your it'll just give you, it'll give your look the more casual look, like laid back, like you know, like, you know, you're not trying too hard, you know, just put yeah, these on. Yeah, definitely. And uh, moving on, we also have another cream shoes. I have these Reeboks I've been wearing a lot, and uh, these are the workout classics. Got these a while back, but I mean, I don't consider these fall winter sh shoes. If anything, I think these are year round. Yeah, year round. Just because like. You can wear them with shorts, you can wear them with pants, you can wear them with like those sweats. Zara trousers, sweats, Sorry. yeah, anything like these. Yeah, same, are, these same as this bands as well, you know, all yeah, year round. These are so versatile and like that's why I've been wearing this a lot during this fall and winter specifically. You know, definitely gotta get a pair of these. Mm -hmm. I got a size nine, they fit me true to size. They're actually really comfortable as well. There's a lot of cushioning around it, so you know, get your hands on one of these. Um. <laughs> so for the boots right here, I have these Doc Marts in a size nine. They, like I said, they fit really, really tight. So you gotta stretch them out before. But then after they fit, okay, um, they're really heavy. I don't say the comfort's like right there. I mean, well, I mean, it's a boot. Yeah. I mean, you're oh. not gonna get that comfortability from a boot. I mean, the Tim's were pretty comfortable. I mean, you know, it depends. I mean, I don't know. they just look stiff as hell, though. Like, these are hella stiff. Yeah, but I feel like, honestly, like, fall and winter season is like the time to get boots. Yeah, you definitely gotta bust these yeah. out. And, like, I mean, like I said, all black, you can't go wrong. I kind of like it because it kind of gives you that military style boot. Kind of reminds me of the Dior. These are definitely a uh, versatile colorway. Like black, you can't go wrong. And uh, yeah. All right, so moving on to the accessories. I have here, you know, this fisherman's beanie and you can't go in the fall without any type of beanie. Yep, and uh, right here I have this Maccus beanie that I got a while back. And um, I don't know, I just feel like beanies are so versatile. Yeah. And like it's a new switch up than wearing your basic dad caps or like camp caps or exactly, anything. Exactly, yeah. So it is and stuff. And it, it definitely keeps your head warm for yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. Alright, so moving on to the next accessory, I have a belt right here. This is a canvas belt that I got off Amazon. Uh I got like a size large 
Um, I forgot how the sizing works, but I got like one of the biggest size because you can honestly cut this and make it shorter. And the way I wanted to get this was kind of like have it droop down like those off Kind of like the off white. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But I got the inspiration off Midnight Studios actually. Um, they had a, the model was wearing the belt. I'll put a picture up for you guys. And uh, it looked exactly like this. So I just got this for like 10 bucks on Amazon. And so this one's a good one. And then also to wear it with like the belt, you can wear like with the chain. I got these when I got my chapter trousers and these came with it. This is a basic uh, wallet chain that you can put on to kind of spice up your trousers a little bit. It kind of adds like a edgier type of like element. Edgy yeah, yeah, definitely. But also, unique little heat tech socks. <laughs> these are flames, like honestly. Like, you know, to keep your feet warm. But the only problem with this, like, it's kind of too, it's kind of like- oh, these are thick. Yeah, it's like really thick. So like, let's say you have like a shoe that fits you like kind of tight. Uh, would not recommend wearing these. All right, so last but not least for the accessories, we have watches and bracelets right here. I'm wearing this bracelet that I copped off Grail. This is from Guess. Um, it's just a basic silver bracelet, nothing too special, but I like it because, like I said, with the same with the keychain or the wallet chain, if you're not wearing anything to spice up your outfit and you're wearing like, you know, very subtle colors, this would kind of make it pop off. Yeah. And uh, same with watches. Let me see, show them your watch. Yes, yeah, so I've been wearing this castle watch. Well, not this exact one, but I've been wearing castle watches ever since like, well, like high school. Definitely. It's been a while and, you know, honestly, like, it just adds like, you know, a certain like little like flair to your outfit. Like, yeah. you know, like a little pop of gold, a little pop of silver. Yeah. All right, so that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I know, you know, we haven't filmed in a while and you know, just time, honestly. Uh, it's been so occupied with school and just work and you know, it's like sometimes it's, it's, a, it's a lot of hassle to bring your clothes to someone's house and try to film something within a given time frame. But you know, we try to make the best of it. So yeah, hope you guys liked it and remember to drop that like button, comment, what's your favorite piece? And yeah, see you next time. <laughs> Damn.